Russian geniuses <laughs> swapping the literary world. These Gary Steingarts and Keith Gessens and now Zarina with their astonishing style, their incredible sense of voice, the fact that they write this language that they aren't even supposed to speak better than we do, it puts me in a rage. Um, <laughs> It's like you're, uh, you know, the way Isaac Bashevis Singer took the sort of m tweaked and twisted the medieval Yiddish chronicle. I feel like you do that with the contemporary Russian Jewish chronicle. It is, in all, and actually, in all seriousness, that was a a really exquisite piece of writing. Your voice is astonishing. Voice is the one thing you can't teach, and uh, you have it in space. Ayala Waldman, literary man. I've got a sort of overlap with you, but I just would say it's uncanny to me again because I have a bag of greasy pork chops in the back. And, and, but you, it was like watching somebody possessed by a good-natured, brilliant dimmick while you were performing that. It was amazing. And it was poetic, it was hilarious, it was raunchy, it was earthy. You know, I am in awe of that. And thank you. And it was also extremely entertaining. And you're a marvelous performer, and I know that's not critical at all. You're, I just thank you. It was worth coming here. Wow. All of you guys, but it was a great way to end. Let's put it that way. Richard Kramer, our performance. And now, back to Josh Gordon, Richard Kramer. Well, um, pork, bacon. Um, <laughs> I love my rabbi. I have a rabbi, and I love him. And when I look at him, I, a little tear forms in my eyes all the time. All the time, because I know he will never taste bacon. <laughs> and bacon is the best food in the world, <laughs> as is pork. It's really just more tasty than other foods. Uh, and it, it's just wonderful uh, that you brought that up. Um, <laughs> I liked how you said big legs, uh, and I didn't know. And this happens sometimes with uh, like a live reading. I don't. I didn't know. I don't know if other people felt this. Didn't know if that was the first line, and you were going to speak in just fragments of sentences, <laughs> like big legs, tiny feet, walk school. And, but because you you slipped me a twenty before, I was going to pick you ultimately. So it really wasn't going to matter. But then when that turned out to be the title. That was awesome, and the fact that the legs were those, the pork legs, was excellent. Uh, Luba, Luba, wonderful name, uh, meaning love, uh, Luba. Uh, uh, the dunking sugar cube, as a Russian Jew myself, the whole dunking of sugar cube, although for me, in my St. Petersburg family experience, that you put the sugar cube in your mouth, and then you drink the tea through the sugar cube. Uh, also, you do that with uh, preserves as well. But, um, I guess that's, you know, just going to be a reason why the Jews can't get along. Uh, uh, Jewish piglet was just, just really, just adorable. Uh, the, the stories that like are really, really funny and that and then become incredibly powerful and take your breath away, I think, you know, that's laudable. I think that's laudable uh, as opposed to stories that suck. Uh, <laughs> which are unlaudable. Uh, so um, I guess finally I would say uh, that I hope your 11 year old son got here. Did he get here? He got here? Okay. Okay, cool. So he slipped me 15. Uh, so that's a total of something or other. Uh, and anyhow, and lastly, I would just like to say my last comment um, in the form of a Russian poem. Ya pom yu chudnyam nabinye, piratam noya vilstri, kak mi val yotnyam vidinye, kak gini jisti, krasatri. Smell the goat on Josh Gordon! Good to stand the most. A little rusty. Once again, the judges are going to huddle amongst themselves. I want to say, usually when we do literary. By the way, give it up for these two. That was a good round. Yeah. when we do literary death match, people are drunk by this time. So I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I guess when everybody's as good, it makes it easier for everybody to cheer. Have you guys already huddled? Yeah. Holy crap. So, because I'm in town till Sunday, which is amazing, I've never here that long, um, I'm, I want to hang out, we're going to have drinks after this, I don't know where, so just text me or call me, it's 213-479-7405. And if you're just out tomorrow or Saturday, 
let me know, and I will meet you as one of the friends will be joining us. 213. Nobody's getting, I don't see one smart phone. I wish when I turned around my number on my back, but that's not the case. Josh, if you could say a few words and announce tonight's second finalist, we're going to get this show continued. Great. What is it like to be that thin? I cannot help it's but wonder. It's amazing. It must be. You can just walk indoors forward. You so wouldn't not. believe. Yeah, it's incredible. It's just awesome. And you can buy clothing. It's not at the big and tall place on the corner here, but just at the normal skinny place. That's right. So uh, we, we had a really knockdown, drag out thing. It was uh, some things were said that cannot be unsaid. Uh, some things about Jews. Uh, that frankly at times uh, anti-Semitic, uh, including you Jew, you dirty Jew. That was I, thought, uh, I don't know, it's borderline. But uh, and then and then and then we did some more fighting. Then we uh, we kissed and made up, and uh, eventually we made out. And ultimately we agreed on something that I haven't uh, heard about since the 70s. So that's for after the show. But for now. <laughs> We were then brought back to this question of having to choose, which I forgot about, right? uh, that we were judges at the literary death match, and that that was our function. Uh, and so once we got back to that, uh, we realized this was a choice between Randall and Zarina, and we agreed that that was the choice. <laughs> this all happened so quickly, but yeah. that was amazing, right? We agreed that that was a choice, and then we asked ourselves, if I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, really, what is a choice? What is, is there free will, or has, in fact, God already written the answer, and we are simply enacting it, uh, and therefore we have to do nothing, we can simply be passive, and the answer will thus be said, the choice will thus be said, we must have nothing to do, then we would have no function whatsoever. So that was a while, that was a while. That took, that took the bulk of the three and a half seconds. Yeah, uh, and, and then we said, it was really, they were both really beautiful, and then we said, okay, Zarina. Ladies and gentlemen.